My name is Didier Stevens. I'm a Microsoft MVP and I'm a Sense Internet Storm Center handler. And I teach this Wireshark class. When I started to use Wireshark, it was still called Ethereal. So that's quite some time ago. And along the way, I became certified. I'm a Wireshark Certified Network Analyst. Now did you know that Wireshark is the number one security tool as voted in a survey by SecTools.org? Let's take a look at this class. My Wireshark training is a two-day training. So first we will get familiar with Wireshark. I will explain you all the different uh, menu options. We will also learn how to use the Air Pickup adapter for uh, Wi-Fi sniffing. Now the, this adapter is something that you need uh, on Windows. On uh, Linux and OS X machines, you don't need a special adapter to be able to uh, do uh, Wi-Fi sniffing, but on Windows you do. And um, this is uh, the Air Pickup uh, adapter. It's a USB device and this is uh, included in the price of the training. We will also look at normal and uh, abnormal uh, network traffic. So normal traffic uh, like uh, DNS, uh, SSH, HTTP, FTP, all those uh, kinds of traffic. And then uh, abnormal traffic, that is something like a, a port scan uh, traffic from a meter printer, uh, from a malicious download, things like that. And then a large part of the training will also be scripting. So we will use the Lua programming language, language to uh, script dissectors. A big part will be uh, scripting uh, a dissector for a botnet protocol uh, that I designed. And another uh, dissector that uh, we will learn to use is a, a TCP flex dissector. So this dissector allows you to have uh, like you can see here, the TCP flex, as you can see them in um, in TCP dump. So with here, ak, 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 uh, fin, sin, things like that. And uh, you cannot have this by default in a Wireshark, but you can write a dissector to have this information. And that's what we are going to do here. Uh, this is an example of this uh, dissector. So we define a, a post dissector for TCP flex. We, we define a, a new field, TCP flex dot flex. That will be the asterisk and the letters. And then we will read the TCP dot flex field and transform this here to build up our string with an asterisk or else C, E, U, A, P, R, S, F for the different uh, flags you can have in the TCP flag. This training is very hands-on. I prepared a lot of exercises for you. So if you are interested, please visit the website and register.